What's up? Another training video? I'll be damned. Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, Saturdays are generally just like, uh, not, not, not just so much miscellaneous day, but it's, it's a day for me to get in just a few sets of bench just to, you know, keep my strength growing on it because bench is very weak for me. But, uh, I, I did for you get to film some of my warm ups, but it, you know, I, I didn't go that far anyway. Just two plates here and then 255 later for a few sets, but anyway uh yeah saturdays are more like a uh not just miscellaneous day but they're kind of a day where i work on like smaller things and you know isolation for parts that i might have missed so i'm honestly surprised that 255 moved like this it obviously it's not moving the best but the reality is is two days prior i did train arms so my biceps my biceps don't feel much on bench like you know most other like some other athletes do, but my tries were definitely feeling this. My tries were just on fire with pain, and <laughs> it doesn't usually affect me so much. So, you know, again, I'm surprised that my working weight stayed the same. So I thought that was that was a pretty good win, you know, being in a fatigue state. Anyway, JB Boss shirt. If you can't lift it raw, then you can't lift it. Love the shirt and here I did some lat pull downs. I'm I'm a much bigger fan of pull ups. Pull ups are a lot harder. I mean anybody can do lat pull downs, so I pull ups are just like a mainstay for me, but sometimes I just throw in lat pull downs to change things up. And then here I, I really do prefer the uh, cable version of a front lateral raise because I really feel like no matter what, my my front lats absolutely just get decimated by this exercise it usually only takes one or two sets for that anabolic pathway to be just completely tarnished because I, I'm just focusing on heavy weight high reps I believe this was a hundred pounds and just a couple more sets of uh, lat pull downs obviously not everything I, I don't include all sets like I, I don't film all sets but that's just because, you know, you guys get a general idea of what the hell I'm doing in the first place. So I think that's just kind of filler content to throw in all the sets of something that you've already seen. Anyway, as it goes on, uh, here we have uh, rear, uh, well, it's, it's for the rear delts. Uh, these are called face pulls, and I'm not, I, I really don't care for this exercise much. I have to focus super hard to get my rear delts to uh, pop on every rep, and it just, it just feels kind of weird. Like, there's so many more muscles involved in just, you know, rear delts, and that did kind of distract me, but my, my freaking delt was on fire after that little, you know, mishap. And then here we have 60 pound ice, uh, isolation dumbbell, uh, dumbbell shoulder presses standing, which makes it a lot harder because the core is just braced the entire time to stabilize the position. You guys should give them a try if you haven't, but you, you're probably gonna put on those and then you do on the seated version because you have stability from the support of the bench. So just be aware, just be aware of that. And then here we have a unique uh, lawnmower or Kroczaleski uh, variation on the cable of a one arm row, and it it actually works quite nicely because one hand is being supported by the cable station, and then the other hand just keeps rowing. So th this variation allows you to use a decent amount of weight without too much form breakdown. It works really nicely and. That was a lot of fun, and uh, uh, and it, it was a short workout, and there obviously wasn't a whole lot of film there, but honestly, uh, again, I, I don't believe in putting out filler content. What I produce is what I believe in, and what I produce is real, so the you know that that's the that's the cool part about my channel is that I, I don't really need to fake anything and I don't want to give you guys uh, BS content I, I just give you what works for me and maybe something to help motivate or inspire someone if I am even capable of that but yeah just a simple little routine and it, it's more for maintenance really it's uh, I'm I'm not gonna be training tomorrow just chill a little bit and then 
I'll have a maintenance squat routine on Monday, and I am supposed to be hitting a couple of deadlift PRs on Tuesday. So we'll see how that goes because my, my heel does feel better, but it's still mildly bothering me. And, you know, walking at a regular pace is kind of difficult at this moment because I am still kind of limping just to take the pressure off. And ironically enough, my right calf is probably at this point going to be much bigger than my left. So that'll be fun, even though I don't train calves in the first place. Like, others can criticize me for not training certain muscle groups all they want. I don't care. I know what works for me. I'm not at the point where I need to, unless someone, you know, gives me a positive critique on a squat or something, I'm not at the point where I need to be told that I should train these muscles just because they're there, they exist, that blah, 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 blah. I'm not worried about it. Like, I, 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 learned these, I learned these awesome ideas from quite a few different athletes. Like John Cena, many years ago for Muscle and Fitness Shoot, he said he doesn't even train biceps. And the reason he doesn't is because they don't translate over to anything for him, you know? So it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm at that point where I really don't need to consider doing anything like that. I'm not trying to step on a bodybuilding stage. And if you all choose to, you know, train those muscle groups, then, you know, more power to you. And I applaud you. You're more above and beyond than I am. I just like squatting, really. I mean, I, I happen to be better at deadlifts, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that, 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 that's, uh, that's all that Saturday really entails. And uh, hopefully uh, my deadlift challenge video yesterday is spreading so that, you know, we can get this guy to, you know, show how real he really is and 